work, why? Do some work, why? Do some work, why? Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Good day, world. Da. And welcome to another episode of Yard Time with the Dog God. And today, I bring out my high performance bully production now. Okay? These two brothers, Little Make Brothers, are my first production off of my high performance bully line of bullies, right? Performance bullies. And uh, that boy right there, his name is Big Shug. Big Shug, right? Shug. And then we got Big Boy Oxa, Mr. Limp Biscuit right now while uh, he's favoring his foot. Ah, that boy, Big Boy Ox. But he'll be all right. You know what I mean? But look at the bills on him, man. So what I wanted to do with my high performance uh, bully line is I wanted a bully style dog, right? You know, real buff bully style dog, right? That has the drive of a pit bull. Okay. okay, I want him to be NFL linebacker, NFL defensive end style dogs, right? Body types, if you can picture that. And I say NFL because of the performance, right? But I wanted that drive, you know what I'm saying? I wanted that fire and desire that you get out of a pit bull. Uh, you know, I want that in these dogs, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so I took my boy... Double XL Pitbull Freak of Nature. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry. Let me back up. Double XL Extreme Bully Freak of Nature. Okay. The GOAT. The one and only. The GOAT. Uh, I took him, right? And I took him to Africa. Okay. My Pitbull bitch. And I produced Big Boy Oxa, right? And then I produced Big Boy Shug. And so they have all the features that I want to see in my bullies. I want to see that neck, uh, I want to see that rear, uh, right? I want to see them heads, uh, big boy should have got it all, man, you know? Now, what I could get a little bit more of is a little bit more bone, like his dad, okay? Like uh, Goat, you know, Goat has nice bone, man, nice thick bone. But Goat is an extreme bully. He's not a performance bully. These, I uh, threw the pit bull in these, so they got pit bull. So 50-50, okay? Extreme double XL bully, the Goat. Genetics with a pure pit bull genetics. And that's what produced these guys. So of course you're gonna, you know, diminish in size, you're gonna diminish in bone and stuff like that. But overall, I mean, wow. For my starter, for my starter kit, uh, these boys for my starter kit, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the starter kit. And I also have their sister to their litter mate sister. So I kept three out of that litter off of the production. So like I said, these are the start. I'm gonna build off of these as I add more pieces. I'm gonna build off of these two boys and, and the sister. And I'm gonna produce, like I said, an, a, 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 a really bully, you know, I wanna produce really at the end of the day, an extreme but correct. You know, big boy goat, he's extreme, but he's not correct, okay? You know, he's, he's got a little dysplasia. You know what I'm saying? He's not tight as I want him to be, but he's got those extreme features, that extreme front, that extreme rear, big old neck. He's got those features that I want, okay? But I wanna, I wanna get those extreme features, but I want them to be correct. I want that extreme but tight. It's gonna take some time, y'all. You know, like I said, this is, a, this is a process. It's a slow and steady win the race process, and it's gonna take time, you know what I mean? So I have time, you know, this is a passion of mine. It's not something I'm playing with. I'm really doing this. I want to create my own. I want to be in my own lane. You know, when people want a bully style dog for me, I want to make sure that I can provide them with one that can perform at a high level. You know what I mean? It's just bullier in the body style. You know, that's what I want my bullies to do. So that's my mission. That's my goal. I'm willing to take the time, put the right genetics together to produce that. Okay, I'm willing to do that with my dogs. So I have other productions that I'm cooking up right now that's gonna go well with these boys and, and the female that I'm using. 
Um, and in, at the end of the day, I should be able to get what I'm looking for. You know, I got the genetic plans of action. It all makes sense. And um, like I said, at the end of it all, when it's all said and done, I will achieve that level of high performance bully. You know what I mean? Extreme but correct, but with a pit bull motor. Imagine that, man. Like I said, NFL style. You know, them big linebackers, man. Them boys is running four fives and things of that nature. Like, damn, you know what I mean? But they're on them big frames. See what I'm saying? You know, tight muscle, but big body frames. You know what I mean? And that's what I want to see. That's what I want to produce with my high-performance bullies. And this is what I'm going to get using, you know, pieces like this boy Big Suge and Big Boy Ox. Uh, don't mind Big Boy Ox, because like I said, that's what he get. Because you know what he does? You know what this knucklehead does? He got so much drive, right? I got him in a 12 by 12 uh, pin with their kennel. They, they both room together too, which is dope. I love that. Ever since puppies, they haven't had any issues. They know how to coexist. If they fight, they reconcile, and I love it. Um, but this boy loves to, this boy right here, Big Boy Ox, he loves to bounce off the kennel. You know, he likes to bounce off the, the, the corner of the kennel. Like he'll run, push off of it, run, push off of it, run, push off of it. He does that shit all day long as far as when I'm around. He doesn't do it unless I'm around, you know? And he barks and he runs just to get my attention on some, on some animal house. So he always pushes his foot in between the fence, you know? Like his foot always, like his paw always is pushing like this. You know, just imagine this and his paw pushing all the time, pushing all the time. So he always jacks up his middle of his paw. You know, look, he's already thinking about doing it right now. So that's why he's on his limp biscuit, uh, but that's what he deserves. I tell him to stop, but he doesn't stop. You know what I mean? So when he gets out here, he acts like he's a little baby and he, and he limps around. But when he's up there at the top, he acts like that don't even hurt. You know what I mean? He, acts, he don't limp around nothing. He just does it. Jumps, runs back and forth, bouncing off the fence. You know what I mean? Rah, rah, rah. Now, I know he's showing out. You know what I mean? He's showing out for the other dogs because... You know, there's AK up there, there's Snow White up there, there's Cowboy up there, everybody's showing out. So he just putting on the show. But look at him, prancing around Mr. Limpy. You know what I mean, fronting. So, yeah, it's letting y'all in on this yard time. Letting y'all meet Big Sugar. The first piece to my puzzle for my high-performance bully line. You know, like I said, Coach stay in his own lane. And I'm going to build off of these boys. I'm going to put some more size to him. I like Ox. I love his size. You know, I want to put a little bit more. So imagine Ox with a little bit more bone, but with a pit bull drive, you know, shredded muscle and all that stuff. You know, I can get them pretty conditioned. Him and uh, Ox, I can get them pretty conditioned. They got some good muscle tone. But, you know, you know, and y'all seen how I have uh, Goat, too. You know, I mean? when I condition Goat, that boy got some nice muscle, too. So I pretty much got what I need muscle-wise frame wise i just want to put some more bone on there i want to refine the motor a little bit more you know what i mean these boys got some drive on them though and they breathe very well but i wouldn't mind putting a little bit more drive look at that i wouldn't mind putting a little bit more drive in there too so all right world just letting y'all in on this yard time you know what i mean yard time with the dog god y'all just met ox and big sugar product of my high performance bullies uh all right till next time Cause I gotta get back to this work, working more work three times. Uh, and guess what I got, world? Got DNA? I do. Uh. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt. Do some work, get some blood on your shirt.